Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Zone Delium server. So, we're about to get started with a new building. I decided that our totem stuff is going to need a building all of its own. So I've cleared a little space over here for just that occasion. Now, I thought long and hard about what it was I wanted to make our totem building be. And usually, whenever I'm making a building related to a specific mod, I try to choose a block from that mod pack. And I was just looking at these different totems, thinking to myself, well, wouldn't it be cool if we built an entire totem building? Of course, there's a small problem with that. Every one of these blocks represents a chunk. So, if I were to make just even a simple totem, say, three blocks tall, that would be four chunks tall and a lot of wood and mostly honestly just wasted space so i decided to try something a bit different i considered going with the drum but it's well very reminiscent of the crafting stump and it's just very plain and kind of boring oh, hello i considered some of the other instruments instruments like the wind chime or no, I, I guess just the wind chime. It's the only three-dimensional block, instrument-wise. But at the end of the day, it doesn't have the space we need. But I considered this, the TP. Now, of course, this thing is three wide and I think five or six tall. It's, uh, it's pretty big. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, three by six. It's huge. So, I want to try something I don't typically do. I'm going to try and shrink this building, well, excuse me, this block down even further to just a one chunk wide space. So, this is still going to be fairly tall, but I think it'll work. It will take some experimentation, though, to get the dimensions quite right. Since we're going from a three by six down to just a one, it's gonna end up being a one by two. But you know, I think we can make it work. So let's hop into it and see what we can come up with. So at first, on the left, I tried going two blocks up and see how far I got. That one came up to about almost the height of a chunk. But that was going to make it look a bit too much like a pyramid, I thought. So, I went over with a three block tall on the right hand side. It doesn't quite reach up to the full two chunk height, but I think if I went four blocks, it would probably exceed that height. And even if it didn't, that would still be a great deal of wasted room for a mod that honestly doesn't have very much to it. So, I think I'm going to go with the three block tall structures on the side and see how it works out from there. Alright, we got the height of our structure down and I'm pretty happy with it. I want to move up to the next two struts, get those put in, and then we can start working on the outer cloth walls and see what we can come up with with that. Alright, I've got the supports in, but I don't know, they look a little bit thin. I wonder if they'd be better if I thickened them up a bit. Let's try that on the front two supports and we'll see what it looks like. Alright, we've got those first two struts thickened up and honestly, I think I liked it better the first way around. Man, a shot of that sunset, gotta love it. All right, I'm going to take off that extra layer, and we can get started on putting in the walls of the building. Already, I've got the first parts of the wrapping in on our TP. I haven't added in the red detail bits yet, but I want to finish putting the bone blocks in first before I do so. It took me a while to figure out exactly what block I wanted to use for this. I was thinking about white terracotta, but I couldn't find any. And I searched for like a good hour looking for a mesa biome. No luck. 
However, in my travels, I did come across a bum, what do you call those things? A fossil. So that thing gave me several stacks of bones to work with, and I think it's working out pretty well. The width of the entrance is a bit wide. I might shore that up a little bit, maybe. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to get working on the other three walls, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, we have our walls all put up. And I even got started on figuring out what the design and the size would end up looking like. Unfortunately, I ran out of that particular wood type. However, upon further consideration, it occurred to me that Totemic has its own wood type. I think it might work here better. It won't match the color exactly, but I do prefer to use blocks from the mod itself whenever I'm building one of these. But that's going to take a couple of rituals. Before I can get to that. So for now, why don't we flesh out the totem site a bit more and get our setup complete. Alrighty, we have our totem setup complete. I've got a couple of drums here, a wind chime, and at the back I put a whole bunch of my extra drying racks so we can store all of our totem related items. There's not very many of them so don't need a ton of storage space. Now let's hop right into doing some rituals. Now the rituals you'll find in the Totempedia. It's always good to read through all the manuals you get in this mod pack, especially if you're new to any of them. But I've already done this a few times, so I have a fairly good idea of where I need to jump to. So, first we're going to go to Ceremonies. And let's see. We're going to do the buffalo dance. This requires the drum and the wind chime. Okay. First, I'm going to throw on my jingle dress. To activate these, you go up to the totem, hold down shift, and right click on the instruments you want to use. Drum. Wind chime. And you'll notice it starts going. Now every instrument that you use adds to the effect. That's where you see a little music note bar going out. However, each one can only add so much to any one ritual. So you start getting diminishing returns. That's why you want to have as many as possible. Oh yeah, you also want to have some cows over here to turn into buffalo. Right. Let's try that one again. Okay, I've got some cows now. And I've got them on a couple of leads so they don't wander off during the ceremony. Last thing I'm going to have to do is do this a third time. Alright, now, shift, right click, doop, doop. And start jumping around and clicking all the things. All the things. Couple of baby buffalo. They always start off as babies when you transform them. They grow up to be a lot bigger though. Thing to keep aware of though, when they do grow up, their hitboxes get significantly bigger. And if they're in a small pen, they have the chance of growing up inside of the block and suffocating to death. So you want to make sure you keep them in a fairly decently sized pen so they don't do that, or make sure the pen is made out of transparent blocks. Something like wall blocks or fences. Then again, I don't think you have fences at this stage. However, I do believe we do have walls. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna go grab me some walls. So I can pen these guys in where I won't have to worry about them. Grab me some cobblestone. Pretty sure it's just basic recipe. Yep. As with a lot of the other passive mobs, these guys will get attacked by baddies at night. So you want to make sure they're protected. Alright. I'm 
if we're running off anywhere. Might as well do this upstairs, since that's where all my other animals are. As I showed in a previous episode, you can pick animals up. However, I should make that a bit bigger. Sorry, distractions. Uh, however, the buffalo, they're too big to pick up once they're fully grown. As long as they're babies, though, you can still pick them up. So, that's a handy thing to keep in mind. Ooh, alarm going off in the background. Sorry about that. Don't go too far. Need a few more walls. So. That was my very first time lapse I just got finished with of that building. I'm pretty proud of it. The only thing is, I spent about two hours doing that. And it only equates to about six minutes worth of footage. I was honestly amazed. And I have a whole new respect for some of the things these professional YouTubers have to go through. Alright, we got our walls in. Time for nightfall too. Get that jingle dress off. You can breed the buffalo just like you breed cows with wheat. We are going to need to do that, because we're going to need a fair amount of buffalo teeth. But for now, we're just going to wait for these guys to grow. In the meantime, we've got a couple more ceremonies we can do. Let's grab some saplings. Rid of this cobweb. It's the only reason I even own a sword. I much prefer the axe if you haven't noticed by now. Gotta put my armor on before I die horribly to the nighttime monsters. Alright, so. <sighs> the next one we're gonna do. Uh, where is it? Not the springtime one. We need a ritual to make ourselves some new saplings. Nope, that one affects crops. Ah, here we go. We need to make the red cedar saplings. So, the right of spring is the flute and the drum. Easy enough. Let's stick ourselves down some saplings. can't put these too far away or the uh, they'll be out of range of the ceremony when it starts. Make sure I got my rattle handy. All right. And a shift. And click. And there we go. And I forgot my dress. I need to take those boots off. They're not making it easy. There we go. Right of spring complete. I wasn't sure I was going to make it that time. Now you see that thing is cooling down right now. That's just the uh, the lasting effect of the ritual. We're not going to use these uh, red cedars for very much, but I have a thing about collecting saplings, so I made a bunch of them. Stick a couple around. 
I'll work on later. There we go. And put those in there. Those there. Alright. No, oh, and there's a spider dying somewhere. Let's take a look at our other rituals. The rain dance ceremony is banned on the server because rain causes tons of lag. So if you want to play on the server, please don't do the rain dance server. Rain dance ceremony. Uh, let's see. War dance. Give you a temporary buff. We don't need that. Depth, water breathing, don't need that. There is one for Paris. Let's do Pan's flute. Pan's flute is a funny little thing, works with villagers. I just clicked that one. Eagle dance. We need to create eagles out of parrots in order to get the eagle bone whistle. I might end up doing this one later on, but no guarantees. Let's see. That's the only rituals that are necessary to do, if I remember correctly. Let's go ahead and put up our totem stuff. And we can work on the next advancement. Take a look. We've done the Rite of Spring. We have to wait for our buffalo to grow up and then breed them before we can murder them for this one. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves a saddle. Should be easy enough. Three cords, three leather. Grab our leather. Ah, oh, yes, I'm gonna need another one of those work blades. I broke mine earlier. Collecting leaves. Here we go. I'm gonna need more leaves. Don't close. Getting pretty close to the end of this particular age. Here we go. That sounds like a creeper dying. Give me the string. Here's this. This gets combined like so. Bit of string. Easy peasy. Leather, cordage, saddle. Next up, we need to make the wheel. Super easy. Like so. I really should just keep that rock on me. Just a habit to put it away. Wheel, check. Alright, next up.
Let's see, regular current. Ooh, it's going to take a couple of advanced primal chests. What does the transportation cart take? It's the same recipe, basically. What less? Log. All right. Well, we need to make ourselves another wheel. Got one primal just out there already, and I'm using to collect stuff for my grinder. Let's grab some of this. Planks. We need to make ourselves a basic chest first. Actually, scratch that. I'm just gonna take this one. See if I can do this from memory. Chest in the middle. Dot those planks on the corners. Yes. And then we need some bark. Like so. Primal chest. I thought that was a slime that bounced around. No, it was the web hitting the ground. Ah, he's still shooting at me. Those spiders have huge hitboxes. You can hit them from a mile away. I need to get my sword out and clean up this mess. Upside, free string. I'm sure a more clever person than me could probably make a farm out of that, but, you know, that's something for another time. All right. Wheel, wheel. Chest, chest. Like so. I need a slab at the bottom. And that should be it. Since our totem building is a bit empty, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. There we go. Now, if memory serves, yes. If you shift and right click on the cart, you get a full size double chest. It is pretty late in the age to be doing this, but then again, I guess the uh, advanced primal chest is really the hardest thing to make, and that is fairly easy, so. We could really make this pretty early on and have ourselves a decent sized storage. I'm going to put these things in there. So I'm not clogging up my inventory since I really can't put them in my primitive chests. Alright. What do we got next? We got to get ourselves a gear, which we need buffalo teeth for, and then a mill, miller, millstone. I can I can talk. Ah, ah. You mind? Ugh. Okay. How are our buffaloes doing? Have they grown up yet? Nope. This could take a while. In the meantime, what do you say we head to the Darklands and see if we can't get ourselves the Shadow Gem that we need? I'm going to clean up my inventory a bit and make that really long walk, and then I'll be back with you in a few minutes. And here we are in the Darklands biome. I'll admit, I got a little bit lost on my way over here, but I ran into my neighbor. Well, his base, anyway. He's making some good progress. Anyway. Sun's just going down. We've got a nice big area to do some monster hunting in. However, there is a slight problem. 
That being, this is a multiplayer server, and every single one of the other people on here is taking it from Mobcap. So, the likelihood of us actually being able to find the mods we need isn't guaranteed. But if we can't, well, that's what we had the server shop for. Whee! That, that whooshing noise still scares me, even though I know I'm immune to fall damage. Alrighty. Now, we just wander around and wait for some mobs to come out. Hopefully this isn't going to take too terribly long. I'm actually going to move away from my grassland biome so I don't end up loading any of those mobs if possible. These boots are especially effective underwater. Alright, this is about what we're looking for here. Fairly flat area, pretty easy to see, and there's just random, random thing on the ground. Well, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep that. That'll be useful later on. Then again, everything useful later on. Ooh, there's a skelly. You are like one of the three things that can spawn here that I don't want. All right. Now, one of the tricky problems with trying to hunt shadow beasts is that they are very nearly invisible. Ah, see, there's one right there. They're supposed to have a smoke out. Hello. They're supposed to have a smoke effect, but it doesn't appear until you bit, get a bit closer to them. And the higher the light levels, especially... Where's the moon? Yeah, the higher the light levels, the less visible they are. This is what we're looking for. This is a medium-sized shadow beast. And they're a bit on the tough side. Here we go. And he dropped us some pieces of something. Abyssal zombies. Ooh, there's a monk shooting up behind me. We're going to need a little tiny bit of abyssal flesh for crafting later on. I'm going to heal up. This is a very dangerous area. Now, let's see. Are you a me? Nope. This is a tiny one. Let's hope we don't meet the big one. I'm trying to get my way over to that big guy over there. A dead school. Ooh, this guy is not affected by knockback. There we go. There's a bit of abyssal flesh on the bone. We can turn that into regular abyssal flesh and a bone by sticking that in our crafting grid with the little, little tiny knife whose name I forget because this guy's attacking me. No oh god, they hit hard for being so small. There we go. Heal up. We're still going to need a bit more abyssal flesh. I better not leave enemies behind me. Here we go. Aw, oh, did you guys kill him? So, the abyssal zombies will actually attack regular zombies. And when they die, the regular zombies will turn into abyssal zombies. This isn't claimed land. You are still dangerous. Okay. Give myself that rotten flesh. Ooh, here we go. Don't start lagging on me, server. I'm not in a good position for that. There we go. Oh, we actually got our first piece of leather armor. Sweet. Well, actually, 
Not sweet. My wolf leggings are better than that. That looks like a medium dude. Excellent. Ah, oh god, he hit me for four hearts. Great Google Mooga. What are we up to? So, these are the smallest pieces, the fragments. You need to combine nine of these to create one Shadow Gem shard, and nine shards to create the Shadow Gem. So, we still got a ways to go. Ooh, little guy. Now, the full-grown ones, if you feel like taking them on, can drop full Shadow Gem. That was a tough one. Can drop full Shadow Gems. The uh, medium-sized ones do have a very low chance of doing so as well. Yep, there's another one. I'm hoping I can at least find a big daddy shadow beast. So I can show you what it does. Those things are dangerous. Oop, and the zombies on the prowl after me. <laughs> Somehow I managed to miss those? Okay. We're getting some great spawns tonight. I'm usually not this lucky whenever I'm looking for Shadow Beasts. Oop. Ah, there it is. Oh, he already got me. So these guys, they fire a blinding effect. That slows you at the same time. Almost gone. Ooh, he's already there. I might be dumb enough to try and take him on, but not with another zombie right next to me. Okay. Let's try this. I hit with my axe and I barely hurt him. I'm afraid of what would happen if he lands a hit on me. There we go. And we got a full shadow gem. Alright. Whew. That was scary. Let's go home. There. Alrighty. We got our shadow gem. Oh, I dropped that on the floor. Gotta be careful about that. Alright. We got our Shadow Gem. We got through the Totemic mod. There's still a few things we're planning on doing in that one later. Maybe we'll take on... Uh, Bay... Bay something? Whatever that guy is. He's scary. But that's gonna have to wait for another episode. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And I hope you'll join me next time for another episode on the Zone Dalium server. Good night.